Today we are going to talk about liver cancer. Now how does liver cancer occur? Liver cancer normally occurs in 95% of the cases in people who already have liver disease due to hepatitis B, hepatitis C, alcoholic liver disease or fatty liver disease or one of the rarer causes of liver disease. Only rarely does cancer in the liver arise in an absolutely healthy liver. Now how does one diagnose liver cancer? Well, initially one should have screening if one falls in a high risk group. So the causes I just said, if anyone suffers from any of these diseases, they should have a blood test called alpha fetoprotein and an ultrasound of the liver every three months and a CT scan of the liver every six to 12 months. So that is the screening method. And of course, if someone has found a lump in the liver in any of these tests, then further tests are needed to find out what is the extent of liver cancer, has it gone beyond the liver, has it gone into the blood vessels of the liver. So the test for that is a PET triphasic CT scan of the abdomen and the liver, which basically tells us where the cancer in the liver is, whether it's involving the important structures within and outside the liver, and if it has spread outside the liver, where all it is. And once one has diagnosed liver cancer, then comes the treatment. Now, it's very clear that the best treatment for liver cancer will be done in a specialized liver institute, the kind of institute that Medanta Liver Transplant Institute is. We have all kinds of treatment available for liver cancer, starting with the burning treatment, which is called the radio frequency ablation or RFA. That's meant for very small tumors up to two centimeter. If the tumor is bigger or multiple, then a treatment, uh, the ideal treatment is to remove those tumors. Now, if those tumors are on one side of the liver and the rest of the liver is fairly uh, well functioning, then something called liver resection, which is removal of a part of the liver that bears the tumor can be done. However, if the cancers are spread throughout the liver or if it is beyond a certain size, that means beyond 3, 3.5 centimeter, then a liver transplant is the ideal treatment. Now, why is liver transplant an ideal treatment for liver cancer that has not spread outside the liver? Because, as I already said, the liver is diseased and there is cancer. So if you remove or burn the cancer without changing the liver, it's going to come back. And there are 90% chances that liver cancer will return to the same liver if transplant hasn't been done and some other treatment has been done. That's why liver transplant is the final cure for stage 1 and stage 2 liver cancer. But if the liver cancer has spread into the blood vessels or outside the liver, then of course curative liver transplant is not possible, but there are some other treatment options like trans arterial radioembolization or stereotactic body radiation therapy called SPRT or palliative transarterial chemoembolization. So taste, tear, radiotherapy are possible and if the cancer is very advanced then some medical treatment is also available. A medicine called serafinib is quite effective because it can increase the quality and quantity of life in such patients.